podcaster's note. This podcast is pre-recorded. I'm Jimmy Hendrick, and this is episode 104, Dead Solid Victory on Empower Your Pattern. Did you know that there are success principles and patterns that help you to see more, to help you live and enjoy a better and extraordinary life right now? Well, I'm Jimmy Hendrick. I am a motivational speaker, success, confidence, and thrive coach, and I'm here to give you these success principles. Let's go. Happy July 4th to each and every one of you. I'm recording this on July 3rd. We'll release it around the time everybody's going to be popping fireworks. Now, I can't think of a better time for me to record this because, quite frankly, I have to say that 84% of my day has been bad. And it's kind of like the day that happened January the 28th, 1996. I come back from church, I have lunch. I spend most of the afternoon sitting there in the corner of my bed and just boohooing. Then my friend Kevin shows up. He's like, man, what's wrong with you? I was like, well, what do you think? Hardly any of my friends called me on my birthday last week. Um, my, my grandma's been gone for, for a couple of months. What does it matter? Jimmy, come on. Get, get a grip. No, no, man, you don't understand. Jimmy, you don't understand. I'm not going to let you sit there and just cry. You're going to a Super Bowl party. I brighten up. Really? Let's get you a good change of clothes. The beds, the beds are already there at the apartment. Let's go. So we go to a friend of ours named Seth. We go to his apartment. And there's pizza and sodas and, and dessert. And we're just watching the Super Bowl. Just having a good time. Now, that year the Cowboys won the Super Bowl. But that's beside the point. It was the friendship and the camaraderie that helped me have a good rest of the day. I came home from that Super Bowl party riding high. You know, there was no, there was no getting drunk, but just, just getting high on life, if you know what I mean. I, I don't know how many of you have had bad days, or you feel like you're lonely. I'll be honest with you, I've been there. In a way, I, I kind of feel that way now, but that's no excuse to sit there in the corner of your bed all day and cry. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, that that's how I have felt all day. Sit there in the corner of my bed and, and cry, you know, because well, uh, one of my one of my best friends, he first he wanted to talk to me, and then he made himself unavailable to me. So, was at this point, I was like, oh, oh, I'm all alone, and you know, I, I look at other people's lives and, and and how blessed they are, and I'm thinking. What in the world? What is something wrong with me? What is wrong with me? I'm just alone. And then I don't know what it was. I, I had just had dinner. And I thought to myself, Jimmy, instead of throwing a pity party, let's throw a dead solid victory party. I'm thinking, in the past two years, you've become a self published author. You've been elected Vice President of Public Relations for Odessa Toastmasters, and now you're the President of the club. Why are you sitting there gropping and moping and crying because certain people aren't available? Sometimes you got to make the good times for yourself. Now, that doesn't mean that you can't be around people to give you that good, dead, solid victory. But often, in the journey... To success and significance, I'll be honest with you, it gets lonely. It gets lonely. You you kind of wonder, you know, is, is, is it really worth it? Does anybody really care? And, and, and 
and, and I'm talking to, to anybody and everybody that's wanting to listen right now. I do care. I do care. I've been through my sense of problems. My bipolar disorder, you know, it, it kind of makes me an empath at times. I, I deal... Most of, most of my bipolar is, is depression. And I think sometimes when we're in a mental health slump, maybe a relative has died or, or someone's moved away or or whatever, we need those dead solid victories to make a point and to secure a point. Because I, I'll be honest with you, life can be tough. Life can be tough. But I'll tell you this much. Kevin, my good friend at Texas Tech, he wasn't going to let me just sit there and mope and stew. Mm -mm. He wasn't just going to let me sit there and mope and stew and, 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 and nothing happened. He wasn't going to do that. And so, with all that I was going through, with... Jerry Murchison, Dr. Jerry Murchison, and with, to be honest with you, my grandmother having passed away and feeling isolated, you, you'll hear episodes in, in, in ways in which Kevin has had to step in, especially in the early parts of the series, until we get to like uh, um, episode 207, so I want to... I want to let you guys know that, yeah, you hear a lot of the mainstream media bad news and stuff that make you want to just fall into a corner and cry. That's why I don't watch the news that much. The only news that I keep in touch with on occasion is Newsmax, Newsmax and especially Point of View Radio, um, who all, which also has a YouTube channel. I highly recommend it. It's also available on Google Podcasts, I know that. But here's the thing, guys. We don't have to sit there and just and just suffer. We don't have to. We can step into that dead solid victory. And what I mean, I don't mean like a depressive dead. I'm talking about the reactivity. And all the rats and maze thinking that you're going through. That's dead. And it turns into a solid victory. Of pecan pie thinking. You know the sweet good thinking. But the, the, the living like everything is awesome. You can have that. You can have that. And you know what? Today. At this recording on the 4th of July. I'm going to have that too, even if no one is watching. Hope you've enjoyed listening to Empower Your Pattern 2.0. If you like what you hear, subscribe. Become a part of the a citizenry of Empower of Pattern Realm. This is Jimi Hendrix saying until next time. Do what others don't so you can be what others won't. Do what others don't so you can have what others can't. Choose, act. And pursue happiness. And please have a blessed day.